news item of the day, it's actually more common than you think. In 2016 alone, there was an alarming 986 cases of Lyme disease in Canada, Whoa. making it the most common tick-borne infection in the Northern Hemisphere. But my question to you is, how much do you know about Lyme disease? Well, grab your notepad because in the next three minutes, we're going to open your eyes to the world of Lyme. Lyme disease is caused by a spiral bacteria called Borrelia burgdorferi, or BB for short, and is most commonly transmitted by black-legged ticks. Small but mighty, these tiny terrors hide in tall grasses as they await a target. Once they find a host, a mouse, a deer, a dog, or a hiking human, they pierce the skin and feed on blood for 36 to 72 hours, infecting the host from, with BB as they grow from a millimeter to the size of a raisin. You see, these tiny bloodsuckers are smarter than you think. They have several ways of deceiving our immune system. Whether they create barriers called biofilms or change the shape of cell surface proteins, they are able to hide from our immune system and remain dormant until conditions are favorable. If detected by the immune system, the immune system employs dendritic cells, which, like your favorite childhood yellow Pac-Man, intakes and destroys the bacteria. But like I said, they're smarter than you think, and they can easily outsmart our attempted immune response. Surprisingly, BB doesn't actually infect the host with the use of toxins, but rather it interferes with the glue between cells, interfering with cell communication and adhesion. But wait, we're not done yet. The greatest and possibly most damaging effect of Lyme is its ability to inhibit inflammation. Now you might be thinking that avoiding inflammation is good, right? Isn't that why we take aspirin and ibuprofen? Wrong! Inflammation is critical for immune health, but lack of it can cause significant immune suppression. BB induces an anti-inflammatory response that causes the release of chemical mediators called cytokines. Imagine inflammation as a type of siren, inducing and grabbing the attention of different B and T cells to combat bacteria. But wait, if this siren is silenced, B and T cell responses are delayed, which means that the condition is way more difficult to detect and it can spread to other parts of your body. Lyme disease is very good at being undercover. Symptoms can arise from three days to a month after contraction, and because they're so flu-like in nature, people tend to ignore them. The most, and I think the characteristic symptom of Lyme disease, is a big, large, red bullseye skin rash called erythema migrans. But wait, that's not the worst of it. If symptoms persist, they can last for months to years on end with things like paralysis, arthritis, and irregular heartbeats. Antibiotics can be used to treat Lyme disease and are most effective in the early stages of treatment. Now I know, this may all seem a little unnerving and you're probably asking yourself, how do I avoid stepping into the ring with these tiny terrors? Well, for starters, ensure that your pets are clean, always wear appropriate clothing when you're outside in forested areas, use bug spray, and do yourself a favor and shower thoroughly because these critters can hide in the tiniest of places. See you next time.